Hello, I just wanted to do a quick introduction to musictechstudent.co.uk. We did a quick run through during September when all this was kind of fresh and the new coursework year was fresh. So now in February, beginning of February, we just want to do another one, show you where we're at, show you the resources that we've been creating and how we've been helping. Um, we've had a few questions in the past weeks about, hey, what are you guys up to and what have you been doing? So I thought, you know, what, what better way? Let's just, just do another walkthrough and just share what we've been doing. So once you become a member of Music Tech Student, you're going to get loads and loads of resources. Currently, we've created for this current coursework, seven new courses, which is absolutely brilliant. All of which can be found on this home page and in various other places. And I'll try and walk you through some of them. So straight away, if we scroll down, you're gonna find loads and loads of stuff. The first is this teacher's guide. So nothing new here this year. We created this last year. Um, we've been adding to it, but mostly it's, it's just the same. Just giving teachers an opportunity to kind of have a go or have a look at how other people practice teaching music tech because it can be quite a daunting task. Next one we've got these two revision guides. We're going to start updating these in March because these are currently for last year's spec so we will update them make sure that you've got the most relevant information. Next one is the current year AS and A2 coursework. So by clicking on any of these links, it's going to take you to the relevant page for your subjects. If you're an AS student, you can click on this one and it will take you to all the spec overviews. It will take you to the mark schemes. It will give you all the courses in one little nutshell. And let's just show you that now. I'll just show you how that's, how that's shaping up. So what we tend to do is build up our resources throughout the year. So by February, you start to get a picture of everything kind of looking a, a little bit better and a little bit more full. So it does take a little bit of time to do that. But as you can see in this top header, we've got the portfolio for the current year. We've got the logbook and we've got the mark scheme all there. Got this nice little overview there. This is the one we created in September. Coming down, so we've got all the resources for the current task 1A, including our step by step course. Next one, we've got some resources for creating task 1B, which is the recording, um, the audio recording. And then we've got this task 1C. Now, we've been very, very lucky this year. We've taken on Mr. Escott, who is um, and or has been involved in the exam process for Edexcel. So he's really brought a whole new kind of resource to the table, just giving us some more insight into how these things get marked. So when you go through his course here, which is step-by-step -step course, Teen Spirit with Electropop, he really breaks it down in terms of mark bands and how to kind of achieve the top marks. It's absolutely fantastic. Each video is about 20 minutes long, so you might want to just kind of take it on in chunks, but Actually, there's so much vital information there. He's currently in the process of creating another video for this, which is Happy with Rock and Roll, which is going to be brilliant as well. That should be ready by the end of February, beginning of March. Once again, we've got the mark scheme, so you should always be referring against that. Scrolling down, we've got some resources for the logbook. So let's just scooch back to the home page. And that's the same for that's the same for, ta for A2 students as well. You've got your own area here with all the resources. We've also created this club dance and punk and new wave. Currently we've got a few more artists to add, about three artists in each I believe. And that's going to be done over the next month or so. And we've also got to finish the revision card. So once again we should be looking at March, beginning of April and all of them will be ready for you guys. This is a fantastic area. If you're an A2 student and you're struggling with question four, which is the history and development of music tech, we've got absolutely hundreds and hundreds of posts and articles all focused in on, on this, on kind of the history, where you can actually write a post and, and edit it in, and we'll have a little look at that for you as well. So you can get practice at writing the essay for this particular one. So like you see, I mean, there's absolutely hundreds, as well as all the previous posts. And that's been created over the last three or four years. So, you know, we're always adding to this stuff. And if you've got any information that you want to add, you know, get involved. It's absolutely wonderful to see you guys on here and giving your comments. So here are the current course, courses for the coursework. So we've got Rather Be, we've got Monument, Limbo, Smells Like Teen Spirit with Electropop, and this new one, um, Task 3C Space, which is um, one of the briefs. Once again, this is delivered by Mr. Escott, so he's given us some vital information, all based around how the mark scheme works. We're currently up to four videos here, and we're going to keep adding them. We're, we're only going to do ten, um, but within that, it covers all of the mark bands. So, you know, you can get lots of information. 
like I said before, each video is about 20 minutes and there's absolute loads of nutshells of, of information there for you guys to look at. Let's just go in and just have a little look at one of them. So we're, we're currently looking at premium content here. So very simple, the video is the kind of dominator for this. And then we've got this lovely little task list that you kind of go through, check it off and then carry on. We've also done a lot of work this year on getting a better video server. Last year we were using YouTube and it just looked clunky and a lot of people, a lot of schools had trouble getting YouTube and they're like, oh, we're blocked. Um, and so it wasn't really the server that we wanted to stay with. So we moved over to um, a server called Vimeo and even more people had trouble with viewing that content. So we're currently working with local authorities and, and their kind of filtering services to get the best server. And this is the one that we've currently worked towards and it, it kind of just works for everyone. It's a really nice server and in school you can you can view all these videos. So just let it load up and, and here you Hello go. Hello and welcome to Music Sticks. <laughs> okay, so absolutely loads of great stuff. Let's go back to the homepage and have a look through some other stuff. It's also important to say that we are working with both Logic and Cubase this year. So all of the task 1A and 3A stuff has been done in Logic and all of Mr. Escott's stuff for the task 1C and 3C is going to be done in Cubase. Completely transferable skills when it comes to Cubase and, and it's been delivered in such a way that it's not going to hinder anyone on whatever platform you work on, which is really quite nice. So if you are a teacher, um, one thing I want to draw your attention to is this lovely teacher's guide here. If you click on this, as well as having all the videos available to you to go through all of the coursework and learn how to deliver it, we've also got this lovely teacher's group, which you can join. And you should definitely join. There's currently 12 of us, and it's a bit it's a bit light on the ground at the minute, but I'm sure it will develop. It's very new, so I'm sure it will develop and I'm sure it will get bigger. But we're just going to talk about how to deliver and problems that we're having. And it's it's a fantastic resource just to share, you know, the issues that we're having, just to make sure we kind of nail it and make the best possible thing out of it that we can. So please join the teachers area if you're a teacher and come and have a discussion with us and kind of, you know, have your input. One other thing is we've got a lovely support area. This is for teachers and students now. And we find that lots of teachers kind of feed into this and they kind of answer questions. And it's absolutely brilliant and they offer their advice. Let's just go to one of these. So the A2 Music Tech, we had a, a lovely post here. We've obviously delivered the Limbo course ourselves. But this guy has done his own his own walkthrough on Logic 9 and he shared it with us and he gave us permission to, to have this, which is absolutely brilliant and it, it just shows when we work together how much better we can be you know so you know please feel free to share and it's it's brilliant to see this happening and that's really why we've created this this kind of support area where you can come in and you can ask questions if you do have questions you know please feel free to come in first look at the frequently frequently asked questions area because a lot of the more common ones have been answered here but if you're having troubles you know come to our support post a question and we'll get straight back to you it's not a problem um, and just get involved you know like I said before it's, it's better when we're doing it all together lots of teachers together and helping each other out it's just it's amazing um, so we currently offer musictechstudent.co.uk for an individual at £79 for the whole year so from the moment you sign up all the way to to next year at that time but if you're a school you can get it even cheaper well the the first product's 199 pound but you know that covers a whole site license which is fantastic so if you've got 10 students you pay the same price as someone who's got 20 students or 30 students 199 pound you know it doesn't get any better than that and you've got access to all the resources for a whole year i think that's pretty much all i've got to say with these updates there's still loads and loads of stuff coming um, but if you've got any feedback, if you've got anything that you want to discuss or add or say, hey, we just need this, you know, give us a shout. Join the support forum and ask for it. This is what we're all about. If you like our resources, give us a thumbs up. Um, and like I said before, just get in touch and we'll see you soon.